Hello everyone, my name is Rick and I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to show you how to get hardcore on your Minecraft Bedrock Worlds. The links will be in the description for the hardcore pack and the day counter. And if you guys enjoy this video, it helps a lot. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing if you want to see more. It helps a lot and I do appreciate it. And let's hop right into it. So, you're going to go on ahead and go to the description and you're going to pick the hardcore add-on pack first. Or you can do the day counter either way. And then go on ahead over here and do the hardcore one over here. And then go on ahead and you'll appear on this page. Once you click the link, you should appear on this page right here. You should have the download button right here. Make sure to only hit this download button right here, right here in this area. Do not do any of these. These are all those ads and junk and everything. Yeah, you, don't, you don't want that. So, go ahead and just click on this one only. And just click on that. Do not click anything right here. Just exit that. That is not important. Do not click on that. And then you should go over here in this area. And as you can see, you should have your hardcore add-on right here. And then go on ahead over here in this area and just open that up. It should pop you into Minecraft and export started. And since I already have the hardcore pack though, it says fail export, hardcore pack, duplicated pack, detected, and stuff like that. So I already have the packs. So that's why it says that. We should say it's successful for you guys. It should say download successfully or imported successfully into your Minecraft. And then you can go ahead over here in this area and you can create new world or add to your existing world. You can go ahead and create new world or add to your existing worlds. And then go over here in this area. Go to your resource pack where you have the new UI or the old one. And then go over here in this area and go on ahead and go to your available ones. And then go to own. And then you should scroll down here and you should see right here there's your hardcore pack right there. As you see right there, fend off the dangerous mobs of the night seeker shelter as you continuously replenish your hunger and only have one life. And then you go on ahead and you can activate that right there. And it should go on ahead and you go back to the activate area and it should be right there already activated and ready for you guys to go ahead and use. And then go over here into this area to your general area. You could do peaceful, hard, whatever. Well, if you, whether you turn this on hard now or you want to do it later, it's going to turn on hard when you, as soon as you create the world, it should turn to hard, but I'm going to turn on the hard anyways. And then keep on survival, obviously. And then go ahead and create world. And then you should go on and load this up. Of course, also warning guys, do not do this if you guys want to keep your achievements on your existing worlds. Be warned, it will go on ahead. It will turn off your achievements. So please be careful on that. If you guys don't want to turn off achievements, don't add it to your main existing worlds you want to keep achievements on. But as you can see right here, we have Harper Hearts. And uh, if we die, we will go into spectator. So we can go up here in this area, maybe find a high enough area to go ahead and take enough damage, probably to die. Probably up here in this area, maybe perhaps. Let me see if we can find a quick ledge or something that we can go on ahead and jump off and die off of. Let's see if we can go on ahead and I can show you guys. This is definitely not exactly the best way to die, but here we go. Let's see if we can try to do it. Oh, come on, come on. And we should do it now. And as you can see, you cannot respawn in a hardcore mode. And we're in, you can do spectate or main menu. Spectate, as you can see right here. And basically, this is like a regular survival bar and everything, but you cannot mess up anything. You're in, you're in spectator, you can't break any blocks or anything. You, as you can see right here, we have uh, some speed. It's so speed 4, visibility 4, and night vision 4 right there. As you can see, that's kind of why the achievements are turned off, is because it's kind of modifying that. And we can tour you are in spectator when you die. So you can see right here, you can run around in this area. Uh, you won't be able to go on and do anything. It says, please delete this world. You don't have to delete this world. And if you don't want, you can always keep it like for future. If you want to check your old password world, maybe you was, you're on it for like, I don't know, a very long time. Got a lot of progress on it. Or you want to see some new bit, like you want to go check your old builds out one day. You can always keep the world in your like world area or you can delete it. It's up to you. Uh, but yeah, if you die, uh, but try not to die in hardcore. But yeah, you go. You got your hardcore. And now we're going to go on ahead and we're going to add the day counter. So we're going to pop out of here real quick. And then we're going over here into this area, back on the pages right here. And we're going over to this area and go on and click on the day counter link. Should be in the description. And you should appear on this page. And then go scroll down here as you can see. Gives you examples. You can do entities as well and things like that. And your pack sections right here. And then you should go down here, click on to this area. And then you should go on and click on this right here. So you can download Minecraft pack right here. And then go on ahead, it's going to be say you're leaving, you know, that area right there, that website page. And then go ahead and click that right there. And it should bring you over here. And also, it might ask you if you're a bot. And just click on the box to show you're not a bot. And as you see right here, it says free with ads or access, direct access with premium. You can decide which one. But it's not going to show you the download unless you do one of these. So you can do premium or free ads. And then you're going to get these two questions right here. So you can go ahead and just 
and answer these questions or whatever skill related topics and after you're done with that picking out whatever options whatever i think you can go ahead and click in here to exit out but i might not let you do that it's going to pick out like a, whatever topic you want you really care about because for it to advertise to you i'm guessing it asks you these questions so it can advertise whatever to you i guess in this little website thing of evolve so you can go ahead and just Pick whatever harmless topic you want or whatever, and then go on ahead and continue right here once you're doing these two. This one, you don't have to pick anything. Just go in for a couple seconds and it X out so you don't pick anything like that. And then go on ahead and just click on this right here. I do recommend getting the premium one if you can. Uh, we don't have to worry about that. But then you should appear on this page, and you should go on ahead and click this download right here in this area. So go on ahead and just click this download. Exit this right here because this is definitely not important. Do not click on anything like that. And then go on ahead over here. And then you can see we have our day counter right there. So you can go ahead right there and you can open this up. And it probably should say probably failed on this one too because I already have the pack downloaded. Um, as you can see right there, detected, duplicated, pack detected, obviously, because I already have it. But you say success successfully for you guys. Just to say it downloaded or exported successfully. And then go ahead over here and you create your world or do existing worlds. This will not turn off achievements. You can add this to regular survival worlds or your hardcore or both. So you can add this to your regular survival worlds. See how old it is if you're like... A one to two year old world and you want to see how many days it has this will not turn off achievements this will keep them on this is just a texture pack basically not a resource pack or anything or add-on and then you go over here into this area and go see what's available and you go ahead and you scroll down here in this area until you find the day counter right here as you can see right here and then you can go ahead and activate that and then you can go ahead and if i'm gonna go ahead and just activate hardcore as well in this one as well and then that way we can go on ahead and have a hardcore world and this is what i do on my hardcore live series i have a minecraft bedrock hardcore live series i use these exact two packs right here in it and i'm about to hit 2000 days we're getting quick prequels to 2000 days of time everybody's supporting on there so go check it out i live stream every monday from 12 to 5 mountain standard time go check it out if you want to and it's up to you but uh yeah i see right here just activate these two and then go ahead and create this world and you go on just just what it said so you, you turn to hard but i think it's going to turn to hard automatically as I said before when you when you create the world and then go on over here and just create it right here and it should load up into this area right here it should create the world and as you can see right here as you can see a hardcore mod add-on and then you go on ahead and create by as you can see right there the creator right there and then go on ahead you can see it's day zero on your add-on right there so you can see on the top left corner it says day zero and then you can go on ahead and get started on your Hardcore world, as you can see, I appeared on the swamp. Pretty nice area. Uh, but yeah, you get your uh, the day counter is correct. It will track all of your days for you. Um, it is a little pain getting to go in and access free ads, stuff like that, or get premium. It's a little bit pain for the day counter, so you don't have to do day counter if you want to. You can keep your days yourself or something else. So you could try and try to find another day counter. But this one is a pretty good one, and you just gotta go ahead, just click the ad thing, and just choose a couple options and then go ahead and you can download easy it's free and really nice and uh yeah i hope you guys do enjoy playing hardcore in your bedrock worlds and whether your main world or new world or whatever have fun survive don't die and uh yeah if you guys enjoyed this video it helps a lot get hit hitting like button and subscribe and want to see more helps a lot and do appreciate it and have an awesome day